Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. In this video, we are doing an example, you know what I'm saying, of hyperbolic functions where we're going to sketch a function and determine its important characteristics. The important char characteristics being the domain, the range, you know, where the function is increasing, where the function is decreasing. Um, you know what I'm saying? And we are also going to find the equation of the axis of symmetry, right? As we have stated before that, you know, the hyperbolic functions are symmetrical. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to determine the equation of this line and the equation of this line. So let's, let, let us just dive right into it. First of all, um, we're going to find the intercepts. You know, the intercepts. These are the points where the function either cuts or touches you know the y or um the x-axis right let's say for example um okay this is the y-axis the equation of this line is x is equals to zero the equation of this line which is the x-axis is y is equals to zero you know what i'm saying okay when finding the intercepts we want the values where um like for example the y-intercept the value of y when x is equals to zero right so it's actually going to be a point so the y-intercept right we're going to let x equals to zero you know and then after we're going to find the value of y when x is equals to zero so it's going to be f of zero is equals to one divided by zero minus two plus three you know okay so this equals to one divided by two negative obviously plus three you know so um negative half plus three is 2.5 or we can write it as when x is equal to zero it's five divided by two you know what i'm saying so this is the y intercept you know what i'm saying okay we find the x intercepts okay the x intercepts are where the graph will actually cross the x axis and as you have stated that the equation of the x-axis or this line is y is equals to zero you know what i'm saying so we're gonna set f of x equals to zero f of s you can also say you know it's y right where y equals to zero so it's gonna be zero equals to one divided by x minus two plus three right and then you can obviously take three the other side um so it's going to be 1 divided by x minus 2 equals to negative 3 over 1. You know, I mean, negative 3 and negative 3 over 1 is the same thing. Okay. And then here we're going to cross multiply, right? So it's going to be 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to negative 3 multiplied by x minus 2, you know? Okay. So this is 1 is equals to negative 3x right so negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 it's going to be plus 6 you know what i'm saying okay then after we're going to solve for x you know so it's negative 3 x or you can take um um, um negative 3 x the other side so it's going to be positive 3 x is equals to 6 minus 1 which is 5 you know what i'm saying so x is equals to 5 divided by 3 you know okay so basically the point there is 5 divided by 3 and 0 so this is the what the x intercept you know okay we continue um secondly let's speak about the asymptote you know the asymptotes are the imaginary lines that the graph approaches but never touches you know what i'm saying okay um the asymptote the asymptotes are you know i can find them by inspection we've got a um a function f of x is one divided by x minus two um plus three all right the vertical asymptote the vertical asymptote right obviously it's gonna be like this it's gonna be x is equals to two and the horizontal horizontal asymptote it's going to be a horizontal line it's going to be y is equals to three so i found those from my function you know what i'm saying i didn't even need to sweat or anything like that I just put it my function then i found the 
is the horizontal asymptote and looking here guys um if i can just comment on that a bit looking at this function right um okay where is our mother function let's see um i want us to appreciate what was done you know what i'm saying to this function um before we can even sketch it or anything this is y is equals to one divided by x so this is y i mean f of s is equals to one divided by x minus two plus three right first of all um that x minus two the graph was shifted one two units to the right not to the left you know remember x will equals to two not um x will equals to negative two and also while it was shifted two units horizontally it was shifted one two three units upwards you know what i'm saying so that that is what happened to this graph and the value of a there is positive you know what i'm saying so the wings of our hyperbola will be on the first quadrant and on the third quadrant so i think we can sketch the graph and then after we're going to appreciate some of its you know important characteristics you know okay let us sketch the graph right let's sketch the graph um okay this is the y-axis this is the x-axis okay um the vertical asymptote is x is equals to two so we've got a you know a vertical line there x is equals to two right and then the um, horizontal asymptote is y is equals to three so we've got a horizontal line there you know y is equals to three so it's going to be a three here it's going to be a two here and then we know that we know that the wings of our hyperbola you know will be on the first quadrant and on the um third quadrant you know what i'm saying um i'll just put it like this here okay cool oh and another thing that we can um speak of is you know the x and the y intercepts the x intercept is five over three and zero five over three is somewhere here and then i can say five over three you know okay cool and then um the y intercept is zero and five divided by two so five divided by two is somewhere here right so our graph will be like this you know it's not gonna touch you know the asymptote no matter how excited you are it's not gonna touch the asymptote so that will be our graph you know what i'm saying and as you have stated that from the mother graph it was shifted one two units um um, um to the right and one two three units you know um upwards right okay um okay guys if you are asked to find extra points i mean you can find the extra points you know you can find f of one um f of two you know um f of three right you can find those extra points um if they request you to find extra points but for the purpose of this video i want us to interpret you know um the graph right let's say you're asked to find the domain the domain the domain is where the graph exists horizontally right um wherever the graph exists exists you know or is defined horizontally that's that's the domain so it's element of x you know what i'm saying okay finding the domain looking at this graph um from negative infinity we go 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 until you know this line x is equal to this at this line this graph is not defined so x is an element of you know from negative infinity until two right it's not defined here and then from here the graph is defined then we go you know up, up until positive infinity so i'm going to union that from two and positive infinity that is our domain you know um and then the range where the graph is defined vertically so y is going to be an element of from negative infinity it we go up 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 until here you know at y is equals to three so negative infinity to three at three the graph is not defined you know that's why i placed um not the square brackets but i placed these brackets here because of at um this line the graph is not defined right and then also from here up there uh, until you know positive infinity you know the the graph is defined so it's three up until positive infinity you know what i'm saying okay the values of x um okay this is the domain three four then five the values 
of x where the function increases you know these are the type of questions that you guys will be expected to know you know when you are you know answering i don't know your exam questions or the test questions the values of x where the function increases and decreases you know what i'm saying okay let us look here um okay from here you know let's look from negative infinity we go 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 and then the graph is going like down 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 so it's not increasing it's decreasing here right and so you also look here right from here the graph is decreasing 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 right so the values of x where this graph increases you know this graph increases nowhere nowhere there is nowhere you know where this graph is increasing so it's decreasing here i think what will make you guys appreciate this thing is when maybe you maybe i don't know you're using your table method right but you know i'm assuming you guys you did this in grade nine right your table method where you chose the values of x and y you know what i'm saying you'll be able to see negative three negative two negative one zero one um to you know and so on you'll be able to see that you will be able to see that these values will be actually um decreasing so actually this this function is decreasing so it decreases where decreases you know from negative infinity it's decreasing 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 and then at two right it's nothing is happening there you know what i'm saying um so the the function is actually not defined there and then also from 2 to positive infinity. That is where our function is decreasing. Right? Okay. We are asked to find the equations, the equations of the axis of symmetry. I don't know if I can squeeze this here or get another paper. Okay, guys, we're gonna find the axis of symmetry, you know, the equations of the lines, right? Okay. So basically um this function is symmetrical uh, you know what i'm saying and so when i find the equations of these lines we know that the gradient of this line is one and the gradient of this line is negative one right um okay we know that here it's 45 degrees here it's 45 degrees so here it's actually 90 degrees However, the important fact here that is going to enable us to find the equations of these two lines, we've got y is equals to x plus c, right, for this line, you know. And this line passes through where the asymptotes, you know, um, intersect, I can use that, and they intersect at, at 2 and 3, right, looking from here, right. You know, I use the word intersect, you know, very loosely there. But yeah, that is actually where, um, that is the point that is in this line. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I'm going to find the first equation. So y is equal to x plus c. So the value of y is 3 is equal to what is x? x is 2 plus c. So take um to the other side, you know c is equals to 1 so y is equals to x plus 1 that's the first equation you know okay the second equation uh, we've got y is equals to minus x plus c so we insert this point you know so it's going to be 3 is equals to minus 2 plus c so we take 2 the other side uh, neg 2 negative to the other side so we're going to find that c is equals to um c is equals to 3 plus 2 so it's 5 so y is equals to minus x plus 5 you know so what does this mean guys um it means that this line although it's not drawn to scale you know um it's actually going to touch the y axis at um 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 1 you know what i'm saying and then this one is going to touch you know the y axis at five you know what i'm saying because c remember as we spoke that c is the um the y intercept you know so yes guys we are able to sketch a function right and then we're able to determine the intercepts um the asymptotes and we're able to see the asymptotes from um 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 
the function itself, right? Um, from f of x, we're able to spot that, you know, um, we've got a vertical asymptote here. The graph is shifted one, two units horizontally and one, two, three units upwards. And also we're able to, to, to determine or appreciate that the wings of the hyperbola um, will be on the first quadrant and the third quadrant. You know what I'm saying? By reason of the value of A, you know, the value of A is like positive. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, guys, do stay blessed. And uh, please inform me if you are uncertain about anything. Email me or comment below. And then I will be glad, you know, to assist you guys. Do stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day.